हेलो दर्शकों माय नेम इज ब्रिगांका एंड दिस इज द जॉन्स हॉपकिंस फ्रेशमैन डॉम टूर इफ यूर एन इनकमिंग फ्रेशमैन दैट्स अबाउट टू एंटर द हाउसिंग प्रोसेस यू माइट हैव अ लॉर्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस फॉर एग्जांपल व्हिच बिल्डिंग शुड आई प्रायोरिटाइज व्हाट रूम स्टाइल वर्क्स बेस्ट फॉर मी और मे बी यू जस्ट वांट टू नो व्हाट ईच ऑफ द रेजिडेंस हॉल्स लुक्स लाइक एंड वेयर दे आर लोकेटेड Now if this sounds like you or whether you're just a high school senior who's on a late night YouTube rabbit hole this is the video for you Here's a preview of what the video covers First off there's an overview with some basic information about the freshman housing process Next you'll get introduced to each of the five residential buildings After a quick walk through that covers all the buildings and shows you their locations we get to the part that you're probably going to skip to anyway which is the dorm tours featuring my friends before we get into the video here's a little bit about me as i mentioned my name is pragyanka i am a current freshman as in class of 2026 i'm from mumbai and my majors though at hopkins this is always kind of subject to change are molecular and cellular biology and medicine science in the humanities i'm also a riding minor I currently live in a single in AMR1 which I like to call the batch pad. <laughs> to start us off, here's an overview of how the housing process works for freshmen at Hopkins. First off, we're required to stay in campus housing for the first 2 years. These are either literally on Homewood campus or well within a walking distance of it. Since at least last year, the freshman housing process mainly involves building preferences, room style preferences, for example, a single, double or triple, and a lifestyle questionnaire that the university uses to find compatible roommates unless of course you're living in a single. Let's talk about each of the buildings and some of their common spaces and features. First, we have the AMRs. AMR 1 and 2 are dorm style with communal bathrooms. Both of them have laundry rooms and common kitchens. AMR 1 also has a TV room, a multi-purpose room and a reading room with a piano. AMR 2 has a social lounge with a TV and games like pool and foosball. There's also another lounge called the Blue Jay Lounge. It also has a study room, a mail room and music rooms. AMR 3 is suite style with personal bathrooms. It also has a small lounge, a common kitchen and laundry rooms. Woolman and McCoy, which are slightly off campus, are a bit different. They're suite style with bathrooms and kitchenettes. Both of them have laundry rooms, common kitchens, and a gym. Woolman also has a theater, a conference room, a game room, and a computer lab. And McCoy has a music room, a social lounge, and each wing has a common space with a TV. So 
that's FFC. That's one of our two main dining halls. And that's where most of us get our food. AMR3 is actually just above FFC, so you have to take those stairs to get to it. the AMRs which are on the main Homewood campus. Woolman and McCoy as you saw are across the street from here. It's just a matter of crossing a road. But yeah, these are the AMRs. Okay y'all, let's start with my room which is the batch pad AMR1 Willow 328. Fun fact, I'm actually recording this last and it is one of my last few days in this room before I move out. Um, so yeah, mixed feelings, but this is it. So this is the bash pad. It has been my home for the better part of a year. I absolutely love this room. Um, some of my favorite parts of the room is pretty hard to choose. I really like what I did over here with my desk. I'm going to be honest, I did not spend as much time at this desk as I should have considering how nice it is. I spent most of my time studying with my friends or in the library. But I was really particular about bringing a lot of my books. I think one suitcase was just for most of my books. So I really like having all these things here because I had a lot of books around my desk at home. So it reminds me of that. I also really like my fairy lights um, and I was I worked really hard on this album wall. I printed out a lot of albums and movie soundtracks I like and laminated them. So this is a really nice corner. And of course, there's my inflatable beanbag chair, which I honestly rarely use. But anytime a friend is here, that's usually where they are. Now it's time to talk about some things that I like about AMR1 and some things that I like a little bit less about AMR1. Um, I think something really good about AMR1 is that it's located really centrally on campus. It's right on campus, very, very close to the main dining hall, very close to most of the classes and right next to AMR2. So they have pretty much the same advantage in terms of location. You don't have to walk far to get anywhere on campus. Um, and something I feel like it has a little bit of an edge over AMR2 for is that it's not as social all of the time. I mean, honestly, it's pretty subjective. Depends on where you live in either building, if you end up being friends with the people living around you. But AMR1 is structured a little bit differently than AMR2. It's the blocks or the houses are a little bit more disjointed. So I feel like it can be less overwhelming socially compared to AMR2, which I feel like is more social. Um, some things I don't like, about AMR1. Something you should know about it is that, like I said, the houses are pretty separate. So that also means that they're organized a little bit differently. So for example, Willard, which is the central house on the third floor where I lived, or where I live, is has a pretty broad hallway, spaced out rooms. But some of the other corridors or some of the other hallways like Wilson are a little bit more cramped, uh, not as much breathing room. So it's organized pretty differently in different parts. So there's a big question of luck of the draw and where you get put because there's not that much uniformity inside the building. Another thing I don't like about AMR1 is the stairs. Um, it's a really old building. Just like AMR2, but AMR2 stairs are much better and smoother. Our stairs are honestly bumpy and my knees are going to be suffering for a long, long time because of these stairs. Um, Fun fact, AMR1 actually was my first preference in terms of buildings, but in terms of rooms, I had listed a double as my first preference. Um, I thought it was just more likely to get a double. It was priced a little bit lower. And I thought that living in a single in your first semester could be isolating potentially. I also had this idea that singles are gonna be a bit cramped. And the fact is that a lot of singles are pretty small and cramped. I just got super lucky. I have a really nice attic kind of room with a sloped ceiling and it is pretty, pretty big for a single. Um, so when I got assigned the single, I ended up sticking with it and I have zero regrets whatsoever. Um, I had no idea it would be this big and nice and I got really lucky, honestly. 
uh, it's really nice to have my own space when I need it because I'm with people all of the time and sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming or I can want my own place to talk on the phone, watch TV or just study if I need a quiet place. So it's really nice to have your own space. But getting a single honestly is kind of rare. Uh, so I, I'm just happy I managed to get one. <laughs> Lastly, any tips I have for incoming freshmen or advice about the housing process? I guess I'd just say keep an open mind. Uh, no matter what you get assigned, every building, every room style has its pros and cons. Um, a single was a good choice for me, even though I didn't know it. I wanted a double. So something might work out for you unexpectedly. Know your preferences, list your preferences, but don't get too hung up on anything. And yeah, I think make the best of whatever you get assigned because while your room is super important and it's an important core memory of your first semester at college, I honestly don't even spend that much time here. So no matter what happens, it's gonna work out. Wow. Oh my lord. This place is uh, popping today. It's popping so hard. Okay, where are we right now? Um, we're in AMR1 double. Okay, awesome. And now you have to introduce yourself, your name, your major and uh, anything else that you want to share. Okay, um, well, let me be in the frame at least. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Nana. I am a computer engineer for now. Okay. And <laughs> yes. what else? I'm from California. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay, cool. And also now you have to tell us what is your favorite part or space in your room? Something you like about your room specifically. Okay, I'm a huge fan of wall space, as you can tell. Yes. Um, I also really like the fact that we have these windows because it's easy to store things. You get some light for plants. Okay. Good for a record player. Yes, incredibly good. All of that. Um, in terms of things to buy for your dorm, the best purchase I have made is this little yes! part. Rascog Club! I'm obsessed with the IKEA cards. I'll yes. make an entire video just about this. No, one. you totally should because you can I put snacks and food obsessed. and contacts and jewelry Incredible and whatever stuff. you need. So that's arguably the best part. I would have said the same um, thing on my room. The Rascog. What else? Okay, that was so efficient. Now we have to use a chair. Lila um, has one too. Okay, so now tell us what came with the room. Um, Table, mm -hmm. chair, cupboard and bed we also got a mattress and the drawers yes and the, and the drawers and the trash cans trash cans did come and the mirror yep that's mounted to the wall there's really not much you can do about that um get a mattress topper yes um, absolutely yeah. get a mattress benjamin topper. also said his favorite thing in his room is his mattress topper that's fair um and then he had a breakdown after that so um <laughs> okay <laughs> so now you have to tell us one thing that you like about AMR1 and one thing that you don't like about AMR1. I like the proximity of AMR to everything else because yes. you're close to the gym, you're close to our dining hall, you're close to your classes. Mm -hmm. um, I do not like the communal bathrooms. Okay. It could be worse, but it could be so much better. Okay. I also don't like the fact that we don't have access to stoves. Yes, except in the common kitchen. In the basement. The common kitchen the is common in the basement. The common kitchen in the basement. Yes. There are very, very, very uh, non-ergonomic stairs. Yeah. Uh, you yes. can't access I'll the common area from the door. Same stuff. Yes, totally agree. Um, okay, so now tell us if you remember what was your actual preference for the hu for housing and if you had the chance again, would you have chosen, chosen to live in AMR1? My preference was AMR3 okay. because that had suites. Okay. But I did like the AMRs for proximity. Uh -huh. I think, given a choice, I would rather be in a sweet style dorm, but it's fine. It could be worse, and you know what? I'm anti AMR3 personally, but that's only really fair. You're allowed to be wrong. But oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Um, and the last question is, do you have any advice for people coming into the housing process or anything you wish you knew? Um, okay, not fully related to the housing process, but okay. get an electric kettle. 
just get it. You can make tea, instant coffee, oats or soups, whatever you need. It's a really, really good choice. Bonus points if it's a nice color. Yes. Mine is totally not. Get something kind of retro, 70s-ish. Yes. Um, and housing process wise, do your research, but also don't be attached. You're yeah. not going to get what you think you're going to get and yeah. it's going to be fine. Totally fair. Like it, it'll be, it, even mine was different than I expected, but I will talk about that later. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Um, no. Enjoy. Oh. Be excited. And we're better in the spring than we are in the winter. <laughs> as, as evidenced by the past week. Okay, yeah. that's all. You want to say bye to the camera? Okay. Okay, we've started. Okay, hello. <laughs> Hi, where are we right now? We're in front of AMR2. We are in front of AMR2. We are going to first cross the main barrier of entry of AMR2, which is the excellent turnstile, where one is non operational. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I live in Adam. Yes. So AMR2 is divided into houses and mine is on the leftmost side of the building. Yes. Building. My god, Anika, you're like a professional. Oh. <laughs> For context, Anika has been the AD on some parts of the video, <laughs> assistant director. Yeah. So I she's familiar with the format. So. Um, AMR2 has three floors and it starts on the first floor. So we have to climb two flights. I've been told by people on video call that our hall hallway looks like a bathroom. Whoa! <laughs> it does look like a bathroom. Yeah. Okay. So here we are. Here is Anika's side of the room. Introduce your stuffed animals first of all before you introduce <laughs> yourself. Oh, okay. Uh, this is Bunny. I just call him Bunny. Okay. How and creative. Then, yeah. This is Squishy. Okay. And she's an octopus. And then this is Pingu, the penguin. Yes. I was there when Pingu was acquired. Yes. Adopted, rather. Yeah. Okay. So now let's just walk through to this side and then introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, name, where are you from, major, or anything else. Okay, uh, my name is Anika and I'm from Hyderabad, India and I am a Mosul Bio major on the pre-med track. <coughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Other things about me, I like stuffed animals. That's nice. And also Legos. I do like Legos. Recently some purchases <laughs> have been made which the audience does need to know about. Yeah. So, now just tell us about your favorite part of your room, if you have any of course. Okay. Um... My favorite part of most of the AMR2 rooms is like how symmetrical they are. They're like pretty much a perfect square. Mm -hmm. So you have like a clear cut definition of what your side of the room is. Okay. And that's good at like maintaining personal space. Mm -hmm. Another thing that my roommate and I do for more privacy is when we're working, we'll like prop open our closet doors. Okay. So it creates like a barrier. Yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite part. Cool, cool. A lot of people in this video are using their closets very creatively. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so now tell us one thing you like in general about AMR2 and one thing you do not like about AMR2. Okay, um, one thing I like about AMR2 is the convenience. It's mm -hmm. right on campus and the dining hall is right next to it. We have a mail room, we have like a common room and a lounge and the, all of our classes are nearby, and mm -hmm. the rec center is also a really short walk. Mm -hmm. Granted, Hopkins is like a pretty small campus, but like everything is like a five to six minute walk at max Yeah. from here. Yeah, this is like very perfectly located. Yes, and one thing I don't like. Yeah. Um, well, AMR2 is definitely like the most social out of like my experience. Yeah, I would and agree. sometimes that's really great, but sometimes it can get really loud. Uh, especially be... when all your neighbors are your friends and are also incredibly noisy. Yeah. People. Yes. Um, yeah, and we have had a few encounters recently with rats. Oh, which... <laughs> that's a different video. <laughs> which that's we will a... not get into. Well, look, it's but me. It's a little terrifying. <laughs> yeah, that has been interesting. Yeah. Um, but I feel like. You can very well live, I want to make a disclaimer here, you can live in the AMRs and never deal with rats. Yeah, you can. It's just if you really 
tempt fate. <laughs> the, as, they had it coming. Yeah. Okay. It, it wasn't us. It was. It or, wasn't us to clarify. Yes. Okay. Now you have to tell us if you remember what was your actual preference. Okay. And would you live in AMR two again if you had the option? Okay. Um. My first preference was actually AMR2 yeah. because for me like convenience was like my number one priority. Mm-hmm. And also I think um living far away from home for the first time alone, I did want a dorm that's a bit more on the social side because it's nice to have people around so you don't feel as alone. Mhm. Um yeah, so I think I would still stick to AMR2 if I were to like redo it. Okay, cool. And last question is any tips for incoming freshmen or for the housing process in general something you think people should know Um I would say honestly when you're prioritizing housing preferences like kind of play it safe try to stick to like what you know works for you in your living space if you're living at home with a lot of people around then maybe go for a more social space or um if you're okay with sharing a room with your sibling then maybe try going for a roommate yeah. i think just sticking to what keeps you comfortable because in college you're stepping out of your comfort zone all the time yeah. so you don't have to be doing that when in your living space as well that is a very good piece yeah. of advice i think uh, and lastly what here came with the room and what did you get um okay so obviously we got the bed and mm-hmm. then in amr2 we have like two drawers under our bed okay and then we get our desk with three drawers on the side yeah and, and then, then the cupboard closet. and there's like two drawers underneath here as well cool 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 um yeah i'd say if you're um when you're moving in you should be mindful of storage yeah. i think like try to like get like different kinds of bins like i have a few bins around to keep stuff in and like yeah. trying to have more like um damage free hooks just making your yeah. space more functional cuz you do have limited storage Hello Benjamin Hi This is our second room for AMR2 Hi Hi tell us tell everybody where we are in AMR2 This is 176 in, in Hall- Hollander on the in- ground floor on the fourth floor Yeah in air mark 2 okay let's can we like yeah we get some view roll yes get some sweeping views incredibly you know, superior even though my roommate didn't design. didn't agree to it you can show his side too no we all the real estate in this video was filmed consensually okay so tell us your name major where you're from anything else you want to share um my name is ben um from Wilmington, Delaware, mm-hmm. majoring in molecular and cellular biology, mm-hmm. which is the basic pre-med major. Mhm. Um anything I want you guys to know about you specifically? Oh, about me? Yes, about you. Um I don't know. I'm really tired. Okay. Yeah. Okay, next question. What is your favorite space or like generally your favorite thing about your room? My bed. Okay. Should we move on to the next question? No, I love like it because I have a 3-inch mattress topper and that shit's um, That thing is so lovely. It's like <laughs> actually amazing. Okay. <laughs> like I don't want to get out of bed sometimes. Okay. That's That's so valid. Also, let's clarify. Oh, actually, in my light too. Oh, that keep is a nice this, light. Keep this. Keep this. Is that a remote? Yeah, it's a remote for my light. And look at the colors; it changes. Okay, I just like to clarify. I think this is the perfect stage to ask the next question. Which of the stuff in your room was provided by Hopkins, and what did you source and supply on your own? This. The closet. The bed. The bed. Not the mattress topper. Yes, let's. This, this thing on the bottom. Like the there's drawers, like two drawers, yeah. and the desk. The desk that um, comes in two pieces. Each of these were just from Hawkins, and then the chair as well. Not okay. the not the cushion on the top. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Next question: What is something you like about AMR two, and what is something you dislike about AMR two? Um, I like the fact that some of my friends live in AMR two. Mm-hmm. What I dislike. 
Is the same thing? Is the fact that some people ruin it for everyone. Like, <laughs> I hate the fact that some people just don't know how to poop and pee properly. <laughs> oh my god! This is the realest uh, interview I have filmed um, so far. Yeah. So you're saying communal bathrooms are difficult? Shared spaces are Usually, I, I mean, yeah... I mean, <laughs> out of the three stalls, out of the three stalls, you'll usually be able to use one of them. So. Let's, okay, let's go easy on the, this is so, wow, this is like a real, real. I'm giving you the most real review the ever. The hottest takes, steaming like, hot. you know, it's fine, like, I think the AMRs are definitely the trenches. AMR 2 may be slightly better than 1. Okay, disagree, but we like, that's from um, the rest of the but video. But 3 is probably better than 2. But yeah, and then like, I don't know, sometimes if you don't agree with your roommate all the time, like, that can be a, um, a really, really not fun time. Except if you're in a single, which also exists. Oh my room. gosh, I want to have a okay, single Okay, okay, so that moves us, this is a perfect segue into our next question. If you remember, what was your actual housing preferences, and oh if you Oh my had the god, chance... I'm an idiot. I chose Air Mar 2 double as my first choice. So, like, the only one you can blame is yourself. <laughs> it's all my fault. No, because <laughs> I fell into the trap. I thought Air Mar 2 was going to be the most social. Which it is. That's just a fact. Kind of, but I'm stuck on the first floor. Oh, here's, a, here's an important fact that if you're on the first floor, I mean, I perfect prefer to live on the first floor but it's not the most social in that like it's not connected to all the other floors if you go to the second and third floor like you can walk through the entire dorm like yeah which, one like the blocks hallway. that i described in an earlier part of this video. but like the first floor is like separated into like two houses are connected together and that's it on the first floor but so it's like much fewer rooms yeah and especially cool. because holland is like in the corner it's mm -hmm. like really quiet as well which is like kind of nice when you're trying to sleep at night but like i mean it wasn't as like what I expected. Cause As social. Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay. Um, the final question is if you have any, other than all the amazing advice you've already given us, any like advice you have for people entering the housing process or things that you feel like they should know or you wish you knew? Um, choose woman. Um, yeah, Dude, choose I feel woman. like the collective effect of this video is just going to be everybody signing up to live in Woolman. Live in Woolman. And then also, if you're willing to gamble a little bit, make yourself seem like an ass or a really bad person to live with. Because mm -hmm. um, then you'll have a higher chance of getting your single. Like, say, like, you're a really, like, neat person. That's what I said. And, and say I that you sleep person. at, like, really late times. And maybe you'll be, like... Sort into a single if you're lucky. Okay, say hi. Hi. What building are we at right now? We're at AMR 3, and this is B, and this is A, and I'm gonna take everyone around AMR 3. A. Awesome. Okay, let's go through the room. Room. We haven't updated our situation, so we're stuck at Christmas slash Hanukkah. And then this is an event we have, and I'm going to it, so that's fun. Okay, so it's a double and a single, right? It's a double double. It's a double and a double. So mm -hmm. there's two rooms of two people and a bathroom. Yes. Um, some of the rooms are also a triple and a single. And then some of the rooms are a double and a single. Okay. And then this is obviously a double and a double. So this is your space? Mm -hmm. okay. Tell us what your favorite part of your space or your room is. Okay, so I really like my bed obviously because I can escape by sleeping. But I really like the window here because it like lets out a lot of light. And even like my roommate side of the room. It like it has a nice view to it, and when it's like like twelve ish, one ish, it's it's very sunny on my side of the room. So that's my favorite part. Awesome, cool. Okay, so tell us one thing you really like about AMR three in general, mm -hmm. and one thing that you don't. You can like sit down if you want. Like, okay, yes. Get comfortable. Okay, so I'll just start. Okay. But what I like about AMR three A is that it's a super private space. Like, it's very quiet and it's very mellow. It's not like 
AMR3, AMR2 or like AMR1 which are kind of like interconnected. We obviously don't have communal bathrooms. We have our own bathrooms. Okay. So that's nice. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's like a quiet, mellow living space. Okay, and one thing that you don't like about AMR3? Probably our common rooms. Okay. Because they're very small. Okay, so our, in, com in reference, AMR2 common rooms have like the playing machine and the, they have like a huge space. They've like um, a lot of space. They've like vending machines and everything. Okay. But what we have is just like a sofa and a vending machine. So that can be a little sad. And also like AMR1 has like TV rooms and reading rooms and everything. But we okay. just like have none of it. We just have a very basic common room and that kind of sucks because like you can't do anything common here. That's fair. Okay. Uh, next question is, mm -hmm. if you remember, what was your actual housing building preference? And then if you could have like chosen again, would you have chosen to live in this building? Um... Honestly, my preferences were an AMR three single, okay. and then an AMR, and then a double for here, and then woman, and yes. So this was your first choice as a building. Yes, this was my first choice because honestly, woman, although it's like super nice and like it has a kitchenette and like a lot of space in the rooms and everything, hmm. but like this one's like very nicely located. It's like. Super close to the rec center. It's also super close to like my classes and everything, so I can just get up late. Okay, cool. Um, last question is anything you generally want people to know before going into housing, or like general advice you have, or something you think people should know. General advice I have for housing. Hmm. Honestly, just be open to like stuff, cause I know a lot of people just don't get anything that they like. But it usually turns out to be fine. So if you okay. just keep an open mind about stuff, if you, for example, if you're not the type of person to like room with someone, which I wasn't, but you like eventually learn to do it. It's, and it's the same with like if you get a communal bathroom or like don't have a kitchenette. There's like a lot of ways to like, you just like sort of ease into it. And also there's a lot of like other resources that you can have for example i don't have a kitchen now but i still have like a common kitchen downstairs okay so i can use that at any time like i think we that's have really stuff. great advice i feel like a lot of us got housed ways that we didn't expect also the most important question which i totally forgot to ask yes is your name where you're from and your oh, majors or like okay. any other thing you want to share <laughs> okay, about okay, okay yes so my name is anvi mishra um, and I'm from India. I'm from Delhi. I'm actually from Noida, but I pretend uh -huh. to be from Delhi. Okay. <laughs> and uh, my major is that computer science and cognitive science. Okay. Anything else you want to share about yourself? I like the color blue. Okay. <laughs> that's cool. Yes. Well, that's about it. Okay. Say bye. Bye. Hello. Oh, you started. I was ready for me. <laughs> um, okay. Welcome to Woman Hall. <laughs> You're the only person who has just said where they are without me having to be like, where are they? <laughs> this is the east side, and that is the west side. Okay. So you That's live on the east, east side? side? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another nice thing about women is that you have elevators. Yeah. So, uh, fun fact. Um, almost everyone I have interviewed, now this is not to give you an early ego boost, I'm uh -huh. influenced what you say. Almost everyone I have interviewed has just said live in Holman, <laughs> no matter where they live. <laughs> or said that their first choice was Holman. My first choice was Holman. The, save the answers for the questions for Sorry. later. Sorry. <laughs> This is my room. <laughs> yeah, it's like a long ass hallway. Mm -hmm. And if there's two rooms in the suite, that one. Is it a single or a double? It's a double. Both them so are it's a double double, right? Yeah. And here is your kitchen this is space. A kitchenette. Okay, so first, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Sakshi. Mm -hmm. And name, major, where you're from, oh, anything okay. else you want to add? <laughs> Hi, I'm Sakshi. I'm a biomedical engineering major. I'm from Bangalore, India. 
I use she her pronouns. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, let's just start with your kitchen actually. What came with it? Is it the same as McCoy where you just bought a fridge? Yeah, and... nothing came with it except for the fridge. Like we had to get all the other appliances and everything. Okay. Like cool. cups, bowls, microwave. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And the stuff came with it. Awesome. Yeah. Let's move to your actual room. Yeah, this is my room. That is my side of the room. Awesome. Cool. Straight to the first question about your room. What is your actually your room and your generally your entire space? What is your favorite part of your living space, or what's your favorite place in it, or your favorite feature about it? Okay, so my favorite part of living in Woolman and like a sweet style accommodation. Just this room specifically. Oh, I like that my bed is next to the window because mm -hmm. sometimes it gets pretty dark at night and I okay. like, even my study table is like near the window yeah I actually hogged up all the window space that's pretty cool yeah but I, I, I just think it's nice so okay <laughs> the next question which you kind of preempted is what is something you like about women what is something you dislike about women I like having my own bathroom I feel like I would lose my shit if I had to like live in communal bathroom setting Okay, it's not that bad, um, but... I'm sure it isn't. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Um, okay, so something you don't like also, you have to say. I don't like how far away it is from campus, because a lot of my friends live in the AMRs, mm -hmm. and like that's super close to like FFC, which is like the yes. dining hall and everything, so like a lot yeah. of times from the library to Woolman or FFC to Woolman, it's a long walk at night, so... Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Um, next question is... Oh, if you remember, what was your actual housing preference? And if you had the chance, would you live here again? Um, so my housing preference was like Woolman and then AMR 3B and then AMR 2 and then AMR 1 and then McCoy. Mm -hmm. um, because I like spoke to a bunch of seniors okay. and that was my preference based on that. If I could do it again, I would probably choose AMR 3B. Okay. Only because it has like your own bathroom and like it's a sweet style too yeah and it's closer to the ffc okay cool. but my second preference would be woman i love this place uh, also curious yeah. why did you put mccoy at the end even though mccoy and woman are so similar i just heard that it was super anti-social okay and like i was like a freshman and i wanted to make friends so okay. i wanted like a social dorm yeah <laughs> okay cool um also last question is uh, any advice you have for incoming freshmen, anything you wish you knew regarding the housing process specifically? Hmm. I just think that you need to prioritize what you want the most. Okay. Whether it's like you want to be in the most social setting, then I suggest you go for the Air Mars. Mm -hmm. If it if like um, a sweet maid is something you're looking for and like making friends with more people, then mm -hmm. I think like sweet style is better. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to add? I just think Woolman's amazing. You should choose Woolman. Uh, everyone <laughs> thinks that everyone should choose Woolman. You should yeah. see Ben's part of this video. It's yeah. And I know the housing process can get like difficult at times because my portal just like wasn't working the first oh, time. Oh god, I remember that's yeah. kind of how we became friends. My yeah. portal wasn't so, working. So like, don't worry. Just call them and everything yeah. will be okay. Oh my god, don't even take me back to that. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think that's like its own video at this point. <laughs> you guys are just giving me video ideas. This I'm sorry. Thing. I tried to clean my room, but no, it looks great. Yeah. Achha, okay. <laughs> you can just say bye to the camera now. Bye. Okay. Awesome. This is so nice. That's banner. It's really nice. This is a kitchenette space. Yes. Oh, what came with it? Um. So what came with it is this fridge. Mhm. Mm and that's it. Okay. So we had to buy like the microwave, toaster, mm -hmm. drying rack, the water kettle, like blender, everything. Okay. But what came with it is just like the kitchen itself and the fridge. Awesome. Okay. Which is nice. And then the trash cans. Okay, so it's a single and another single? It's a double double. Double double, okay. Yeah. And here's your bathroom, right? Yes. Cool, cool, cool. And that's my room. That's your name, your mirrors, where you're from. Mm -hmm. 
And just anything else you want to add? Okay. Hi, I'm Grace. Um, I'm from Seoul, South Korea, so I'm an international student and I'm majoring in biomedical engineering and I'm a current freshman living in McCoy. And Which this is, is very room. nice. It's so nice. And that's my room. Okay. It's really pretty. Do you have anything particular you want to tell us about your room, like what your favorite space is or something? Definitely my favorite space is the layout of the room. Okay. So unfortunately, my roommate and I have the smallest room in McCoy. Okay. So um, it's the smallest double. So we tried to like um, maximize our personal spaces. So that's mm -hmm. why we put the closets right next to the bed. Okay. So if I want like privacy, I just open the door and like kind of cover myself and hide in the corner. Which That's is convenient. Good. So and so and my roommate also has the same layout. So we kind of maximized our personal space like that. And okay. Yeah, and I have a little extra space, so I bought my own little drawer to put extra storage. Mm -hmm. And there's also a little drawer underneath my bed where I can keep my That clothes. came with the, the Yeah, room, it right? came with it. The closet, the drawers, the bed, and the, the desk. desk came with the room. Yeah. Awesome. And yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, one thing you like about McCoy in general, and one thing you don't like about McCoy, and we can like walk through if you yeah. want to use, but like a so you can put questions. it over there. Or something. Yeah, you can oh, like, it's like sit. Vogue. Yeah, it's like Vogue. You can sit wherever you want. <laughs> okay. Um, one thing I really like about McCoy is definitely um, the social life here. Like McCoy, ha before I came here, like I searched online and stuff, but McCoy has a reputation of being super like antisocial, like socially mm -hmm. dead dorm. But I actually had a really good experience with social life here. Okay. I'm very close with my sweet mates, so I'm gonna live with them next year again Yay. in McCoy. Actually, uh, <laughs> that's a different video. <laughs> yeah, that's a different video. But as a freshman, it's a really great option. And see, I like to cook a lot, um, so. Um, I use the kitchen a lot. Actually, for lunch today, I made fried rice. So nice. I utilize the kitchen again. The competence. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I went to levering for lunch, <laughs> which is the best I can do. Oh, okay. One thing you don't like about McCoy. I think definitely it's kind of janky. It's not a okay. new building. It's an old building. And there's another dorm called Woman, which is right next to yep. McCoy. You can see it from my window, actually. Okay. On that side. Damn. But... Um, yeah, compared to Woolman, it's a bit less modern. We have less facilities. Um, McCoy has its own gym. Okay. But, um, the is it good? The treadmill is broken. It's been broken for the past six months, so I don't know what's going on. So it wrecks all the way. Yeah, so I just go to the wreck. I don't really go to the gym that much, to be honest. That's okay. But if I do go, I go to the wreck. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's something I don't like. It's kind of janky, mm -hmm. and the bathrooms are kind of old, so the showers are old, but it's okay. still usable. Like, it's not like there's mold or anything. It's clean. Okay. It's just old. Also, what was your actual preference? If you mm. want to, like, spill the beans on it, like, oh, yeah. what was your original? Are these Lego flowers? Yeah. They're so nice. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. Yeah. What was your original building preference? So my actual first choice was Woolman. Okay. Which is like the modern one. Okay. Um, but my second choice was McCoy. And McCoy and Woolman are basically the same. In terms like, of the rooms inside. Yeah, yeah. In terms of like rooms, it's like the same. The kitchen, it's the same. Yeah. But Woolman just has like better like stuff. Like they have a theater, a better kitchen. A better gym. They have like three treadmills and like elliptical. The stairs. treadmills are really winning out over time. Yeah, for real. And location is the same. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's yeah. literally across the street. Yeah. Um. Okay. Next question is: Would you have chosen McCoy? Like, if you had the choice again? I think I would. Yeah. Honestly, like, I think it's one of the good like freshman dorm options. Not to I think, yeah, not I to like shit on AMRs, but compared to AMRs, I think it's a lot better, especially if you like cooking. Um, if, if you like to cook a lot, and I do, and okay. I like the option of having a kitchen. That is, no one can argue that that's a plus point, even <laughs> as a slight AMR one. <laughs> um, and the last question is, what do you think any incoming freshman should know going into housing, or like any tips you have for them in general? Mm -hmm. I think definitely like look into the floor plan before, um, like going into housing application, mm -hmm. and definitely you know like what kind of lifestyle you have. I know like when. Coming into college, like your lifestyle like completely changes. Like That's so before true. I was such an early bird, but now like I study like late until night and wake up late. Mm -hmm. But like definitely try to figure out like what you like if you're a clean person, if you like to cook, mm -hmm. or if you sleep like to sleep in or like wake up early in the morning. I think yeah. that's really important. Mm -hmm. And 
yeah, I think that's one thing. And another thing is like watch a lot of like dorm videos. Yeah. Yay. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a bit late. <laughs> really saying that. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think that's it.